Josh Hartnett made a rare public outing with his wife Tamsin Edgerton as they attended the Oppenheimer London premiere on Thursday night. The actor, 44, walked hand-in-hand hand with the actress, 34, on the red carpet at the Odeon Lux in Leicester Square. Josh and Tamsin have been together 10 years and allegedly tied the knot back in November 2021 at Marylebone Town Hall. Stepping out to the event, he looked stylish in an oversized gray suit with a pale blue shirt, which was partially unbuttoned. Tamsin, meanwhile, slipped into an incredible blue and pink floral pattern tea dress with puffed sleeves. She styled her blonde hair into a voluminous look and elevated her height with a pair of strappy gold heels. The London premiere of Christopher Nolan's film Oppenheimer was moved forward an hour early on Thursday, so the cast had time to walk the black carpet ahead of the writer's strike. The last-minute change came after the Screen Actors Guild American Federation of Television and Radio Artists announced it had voted in favor of taking action, after a deadline to reach a deal passed. Leading man Cillian Murphy joined Emily Blunt, Florence, and Matt Damon on the black carpet at 5.45 p.m. in Leicester Square to avoid a clash. A whole host of Hollywood stars, including Meryl Streep, Jennifer Lawrence, and Mark Ruffalo, are poised to join writers on strike for the first time in 60 years. Thousands of members of the Writers Guild of America have downed tools after talks with the Alliance of Motion Picture and television producers over pay fell apart. At the center of the row is the rise of streaming, with the Guild claiming that even as budgets have increased, writers' share of that cash has consistently shrunk. The untimely clash is a bitter blow to Christopher Nolan, who has shelled out £81 million on the production. Peaky Blinders star Cillian takes on the role of Dr. J. Robert Oppenheimer, the father of the atomic bomb, and after Paris premiere earlier this week, critics have tipped it to win big. Attending a photo event on Wednesday, Oppenheimer star Matt said while everyone was hoping a strike could be averted, many actors need a fair contract to survive. We ought to protect the people who are kind of on the margins, Damon told the AP, and 26000 bucks a year is what you have to make to get your health insurance. And there are a lot of people whose residual payments are what carry them across that threshold. And if those residual payments dry up, so does their health care. And that's absolutely unacceptable. We can't of that. So, we got to figure out something that is fair. It is the first time since 1960 that actors and writers picket film and television production.